wanted to give you an update on our manager uh, 3.4 build, build beta 6 it's now available for public use uh, it adds several features but the one I wanted to show you that I was most excited about is down here it's uh, the new background option for transparency as you can see it now it offers a solid color a custom image or transparent and what I've done is taken a the uh, pay panel for the uh, Cessna and I have modified it to put the uh, GPS's in there now to maintain a clear background to allow the GPS's from X plane to show through I had to create uh, another layer another instrument that has the background image there with the transparent openings over in this area here so that it could be uh, it could be allowed uh, to uh, show through. The, the GPS would be allowed to show through. So let me open this panel. You can see I have uh, the two GPSs already pre-positioned, but I'm going to open the panel now. And you can see that we have uh, the same panel, but over here I've included the two GPSs, the uh, GPS 530 and the 430. Uh, the bezels. Now these are the bezels that have the clear image. I'll show you by moving it. I'm going to just grab the bezel for the 530 and move it over and you can see uh, that it's on top of the other instruments and it just allows it to show through. Now uh, what I'm going to do is go back over here and reposition that back to where we want it. Of course I have to do that on the layout page and then you can see now there it is back. Now I have enabled the knobster and if you're not familiar with the knobster it's this knob. It's a it's a small uh, uh, Arduino, dev an Arduino device that has a, a dual concentric knob with a push button. And it's a very similar to what this knob is like right here. It's got, so when I touch that knob, it gives me the uh, highlighting. And then by um, I'm just grabbing this knob and twisting the outer knob, you can see I'm changing the uh, hole frequency. If I twist the smaller knob, I'm adjusting that, and if I hit the button, it toggles between uh, uh, VOR and COM. Of course, all the other functions on here work just fine. I can touch touch buttons. You can see uh, all the buttons work just normally to do the transfers, and I uh, can change the range, range over here. I can uh, touch this knob here, and it becomes the knobster. And then I can change the pages and chapters of everything on the GPS. All the other buttons, of course, if I touch the uh, flight plan, it pops up. I can hit the inner button to grab the cursor, and I can change the positions. So all the knob, the knobster basically becomes any knob. You can see I can touch again the, the this GPS uh, 430, and then I can change the frequencies there for the COM2. Or I can touch the chapter button there, and of course all the other buttons, the range buttons and so on, they're all responsive. Again, here down here at the uh, transponder, if I select vertical speed and then touch that knob, now the, the knobster, either the inner or the outer knob, since there's only one knob, will control that. So uh, I'm going to hit the starter here. I'm going to manually grab the throttle and just push it, crack it in just a little bit with my finger. And then I'm just going to take my knobster and turn it, click it one, two, three, and then press the button to start. And now we got it running. So you see how awesome this is. I mean, if I want to change the uh, set the altimeter, the uh, airspeed uh, markings, I can use the knobster for that. I can change the uh, the uh, heading bug. I just touch the heading bug and then grab the knobster and just move the heading bug with my uh, with with the uh, knobster. So uh, everything, all the knobs on the uh, cockpit are controlled by the knobster. And now we have with transparency, we're able to in introduce the uh, two GPSs back into the picture. So it gives us pretty much the complete Cessna panel uh, from X plane.